Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll see a one more type of uh, generative AI that is transformer based models. So in our previous session, we have seen two types of Gen AI. So one is a generative adversarial networks as well as a diffusion models. So both will be generating the images, a quality and realistic images. So without delay, we'll see a one more type of Gen AI that is a transformer based model. transformer based model so here the name itself indicates this transformer means it will transform raw data to a meaningful text meaningful data so this raw data can be either text so and the meaningful data can also be a text and the text converts to image or image converts to text okay so it can be applied on different data okay these transformers can be applied on different data so text to text or text to image or image to text so actually so this is mainly used to generate sequences sequences or text okay or a text from the prompt which we are giving so before uh, AI models earlier AI models like uh, RNN and LSTMs are used to read the data word by word word by word okay so here if for example if there are raw data is a text so we are giving some text okay so the first that text will be divided into different tokens that means different words now previous to this transformer uh, model the rnns and the lstms so these are the previous ai models so these models are used to read the data word by word not by the sentence okay word by word so obviously there will be a difficulty to understand the longest sequences so for example if you are studying the uh, if you start reading uh, a book okay if you read some five pages and afterwards you just reading is uh, i mean the process of reading is going on and now you are reading around 100th page you might be difficult to remember the things which you read in the first five pages so in the longest sequence similarly in the longest sequence so it was it will be very difficult to understand the meanings okay so that will be avoided by using so uh, it is difficult to understand the sentence long sequence so instead of sentence i am writing it as a long sequence understand the long sequence because word by word will be read so this will be avoided by using this approach a transformer model so transformer model reads complete words at once okay so instead of reading word by word this transformer model will read the words one i mean after the complete words at a once and finally it will try to understand the importance of words importance of words to each other how it relates okay so importance as well as the relationship between the words and words so from that it will be generating the new words so after understanding it will be generating the new words for example let us take one 
सेंटेंस लाइक ट्रॉफी वॉज प्लेस्ड ऑन टेबल आफ्टर इट गेट्स पॉलिश्ड सो दिस इज अ सेंटेंस फॉर एग्जाम्पल लेट अस इमेजिन दिस सेंटेंस सो हियर previously the rnns and the lstms will be reading these words individually okay individually it will it, 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 it tries to read the complete words individually so trophy was placed on table after it get polished now here you can observe what is the importance of this word it whether it is representing a table or a trophy so there will be a lot of confusion okay so if the complete sentence or a complete words have been read in a single instance so you can see trophy was placed on a table after it get polished you can able to know that it means it is a trophy not a table okay so that makes a difference among this is a transformer model and the previous Uh, rnns and lstms okay that is the reason why the complete words will be read at a single instance in order to understand the meaning as well as in order to understand the context also so here it will be using two terms one is a encoder encoder which will be understanding the inputs or reading the inputs read inputs read inputs and understand and the second one is decoder which is used for generating the output generating output so these two things combines together and forms transformer model transformer model so there will be two terms in this transformer model one is a encoder and decoder which will be reading the data and another will will be the generating the output and see this process okay this process so reading the complete words at an instance and understanding the context and meaning that process is known as attention that process is known as attention so the in particular transformer based model transformer based model so the new text or new sequence will be generated based upon the attentions and see this attention this attention will not be done only once okay the transformer model will not execute this one once so this transformer model transformer model executes multiple layers of attention not a single single term okay single time so it will be using multiple layers of attention and where each layer multiple layers okay each layer will be looking words in a different way in a different way okay so every time it reads a word it will think that word or it will understand that word in a different way so like that it will be executing a multiple layers of attention and then only the output will be generated okay so this is how the transformer based model will be executed so how the uh, text or uh, uh, image will be generated from this particular prompts okay based upon the attention based upon the attention and see examples so here the real world examples 
so real world examples are the chat gpt so everyone were using this chat gpt so gpt 4 or gpt 5 etc gpt series okay here we'll be giving some prompts and uh, based upon that prompts we are getting the output right so gpts as well as uh, vision transformers so that means identifying objects in an image so from the image if you want to identify the objects then also these type of transformer based models will be used and the next one the another one frequently everyone were using is google translators so translating the one text to the another text translating the one language to another language okay translation of text translation of text so these are the examples okay and coming to the advantages so what are the advantages so high quality high quality as well as so uh, yes the one thing is high quality and uh, limitations what are the limitations of using this one is so it requires it need large amount of training data large amount of training data if it want to generate the output so it should be trained with the millions and billions of words because then only it can able to understand the words okay and also uh, computationally expensive this is a common thing for everything uh, every type of gene computationally expensive it requires more computational power okay and one more important disadvantage main thing we have to know is not always accurate not always accurate see what we are saying high quality so it is a very prompt and very confident but that may not be accurate okay but the text which was generated by using this transformer based model is a very confident and very quality but this is the case 100 percent it is not accurate so we should not blindly accept that output okay so these are all uh, the different uh, things we have learned for a transformer based model the type of gen ai right so hope you understood this one and if you really enjoyed the session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel Thanks for watching. Thank you very much.